Yes. Just back again, baby. You. Before we get started, clamp on your harmonica. Stand. Get your kazoo in there, man. Brass one. Yeah, brass kazoo. After the beauty. 1969. We just jump up a few months. Yeah, 1970. A cracking little groovy little band, five piece I think, by the name of McGuinness Flint. They look like Californian hippies in my gear, almost like me. Groovy Indian cotton tops, waistcoats, and a bit like the Eagles and um, the Creedence Clear War Revival guys. <laughs> Adjusted for the right goose and rocking goose. <laughs> Very important for this song. Have a kazoo in it. But also... My dog has fleas. Capo. From Ugology. Now the capo, which you find the device for guitars, is great. For shifting chords and making chords easier, shorter. And the pitch. Very important. So get your capo, clamp it over the second fret. Make sure all the strings are... I don't, so there's no fret buzz. Dog has no fret buzz. Nice and clean. Couple, couple, second fret. C, F, and G. Just D. G in here. D, G in here, the song, the key is in, so you put your cap on the second fret, and you play the C, F, and G. So get there, I guarantee it's spot on, but keep your kazoo there ready for it. Beauty called When I'm Dead and Gone by McGuinness Flint, obviously 1970. Fantastic. And the time of Grandad and that. Cracking the artists, you know, still the Beatles were still going, Hendrix had just died. George Harrison stuff, clapping for Leila, bowling right away, swan. Oh, that was crazy, George. I'm 
dead and gone. I want to leave some happy woman living on. some happy woman living on. 